Hi, it's Ed from the Wanderer's Guide again, back with another hot tip for travelers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to hike the beautiful Subway Cave in Sedona. The hike is rated as moderate due to length, some route finding, and a class 1 scramble at the very end to get inside the cave. It's 5.4 miles out and back from the nearest parking area with an elevation gain of 490 feet. Allow about 2.5 hours of hike time. The best light for photography is early morning. Mountain bikes and drones are not allowed here, and this hike is not pet friendly since there's an archaeological site and a class 1 scramble. The trailhead is located 3 miles from West Sedona near the Enchantment Resort. Park either at the Forest Service parking area on Boynton Pass Road, where a Red Rock Pass is required, or along the roadside back at the intersection, which is free of charge. There are three major trailheads leading out of this one tiny little parking lot, which is a good reason to arrive early. The trailheads are the Airy, Dead Man's Pass, and Boynton Canyon. Take the Boynton Canyon Trail headed north, cross the wash, and turn left at the first intersection where the Dead Man's Pass Trail continues straight ahead. The next landmark to find is the trail leading to the Boynton Vista Overlook. This trail leads to the base of Kachina Woman Rock, a short side hike that will add about 30 minutes and 200 feet of elevation gain if you choose to include it. For the next nine-tenths of a mile, the Boynton Canyon Trail skirts around the Enchantment Resort. At 1.1 miles from the parking area, the trail drops down to the canyon floor and crosses the wash again. From here, it is approximately one more mile to the turnoff for the Subway Cave. When you pass this long, straight section of the trail, you're starting to get close. Two miles from the parking lot, look for an especially large alligator juniper tree on the left side of the Boynton Canyon Trail at the GPS coordinates shown on the screen. This tree has a broken branch that overhangs the trail and points directly at the social trail heading to the subway. The last four-tenths of a mile, you are on an unmarked social trail, and there is some route finding involved. Cross the wash, but don't get in it. Stay on the social trail that runs along the left side of what I call Subway Canyon. Note that there are four rocky points jutting out from the left side of Subway Canyon before it forks. The Subway Cave is in an alcove on the left just before the fork, at the GPS coordinates shown on the screen. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a Class 1 scramble is required to get inside to the back of the cave where the best picture is found. There's also a small cliff dwelling and a rock art panel on the same ledge just around the corner from the cave. And finally, there are three additional cliff dwellings nearby that can be added to extend this hike and make it more challenging. Any of these would be a worthy destination on its own, but added to the subway is sure to make it for a day that you'll never forget. These are Arch Ruin, Dream Speaker Cave, and Women's Village. For a comprehensive guide to these and all the other trails in Red Rock Country, be sure to download the Wanderer's Guide to Hiking Sedona and enter promo code SUBWAY at checkout to receive a 10% discount. 